I joined SRI 30 years ago because I wanted to do applied research that would have direct impact for students, their families, and educators. Today, I lead about 160 researchers in the education division who focus on a range of topics, including early learning, disability and inclusion, multilingual learners, student behavior, teaching quality, college and career pathways, STEM and computer science learning, and digital learning. Our team conducts studies, provides technical assistance on using data and research, and develops education assessments and tech-supported innovations. Our work makes a difference and is centered on equity for children who have been marginalized. We've been influencing disability policy for decades through our longitudinal studies and national technical assistance centers. Through large-scale efficacy trials, we have found effective ways to support students who have experienced trauma, increase school safety, reduce dropout rates, and improve school climate. And we make those findings accessible to educators and school administrators through our student behavior blog. We've done several rigorous evaluation studies to support early learning. For example, we've explored how PBS Kids shows impact the learning of young children in low-income households. And we've studied public preschool expansion and multilingual parent engagement programs. We've also conducted numerous rigorous studies on supporting new teachers, increasing academic rigor, broadening participation in STEM, and using digital learning tools to accelerate and deepen learning. We are helping rural school districts, educators, and other leaders in Appalachia to use data and evidence-based practices to support students succeed at math, and college and career readiness. One of the unique things for us at SRI is that we can work closely with our computer science colleagues to develop technology-supported assessments that use video analytics and natural language processing to better understand things like how students collaborate and how adult-to-child speech affects children's development. A couple of the reasons I've stayed at SRI so long, and others do, is that there are always new and interesting projects to work on and great colleagues you can learn from.